Hi there, I'm Tristan, and today I'm going to introduce to you the most exciting packing innovation that we've probably ever seen, which is iPhone. It is an expanding phone product. It comes in a little sachet like this. And it is an expanding phone product. Okay, we're going to be using this to prep pack really high value items, uh, ornaments, or vases, like this one here. Okay, you're going to open it right out, and then you can see each package actually has the instructions on how you have to use it. It is a two-part chemical compound, but it is not considered dangerous goods, and we need to make sure that when we're handling and using this product, we need to have nitrile gloves and also safety glasses. Uh, no one's going to get seriously hurt or injured if anything should go wrong. Uh, it's just going to cause you a mild irritation, but we're just ensuring that you're safe. Okay, uh, there are steam vents along the, across the top of each package, and that is because once the chemical reaction starts to take place, it gets quite hot to the touch, up to about 55 degrees. It will cool down, but it will stay hot for a short period of time. Okay, so on the package, clearly marked is A and B. Those are the two compounds that we're going to mix. So what I'm going to do is each and every time without fail, I need to start with compound A. Always start with A, never B. I'm going to push down hard on compound A until I hear a pop, which will squirt the material across to B. And at that point, I'm going to push B and I'm going to alternate quickly between A and B. That'll take about 10 to 15 seconds. I'll feel that start to heat up a little bit, and it will expand, and then it will pop and squirt the foam out into the bag itself. At that point there, the expansion process is going to start, and I need to start working quite quickly from there. So I will pick up the bag, I'm going to place it down in the bottom of the carton, and then I'm going to grab my item, or bars in this case, and I will hold it gently against the expanding foam so that the foam can expand all the way around it, That'll take about 10 to 15 seconds for that to set, and then I'll repeat the process, uh, do it across the top, and hold the carton down so that the fam, uh, foam expands across it completely. Okay, so I'm gonna start by pushing down on A. It's popped now, so we go between A and B. Let's keep alternating quite quickly. You can feel that starting to heat up now. Okay, so that has now squirted it out, put it down into the carton. I'm going to hold that gently down in there so it will form a shape around it. So as I said, that's now quite hot to the touch. I can rest my hand on there without burning it, but it is quite warm. Okay, that's formed a nice mould around that now. I'll sit that in there. And now I need to repeat the process. Open it up, so exactly the same as before. If you remember I had to push A first. Push down hard on A until I hit a pop. And then across the B, alternate to and fro. Start to expand shortly. You feel that starting to warm up. Okay, so it squirts out. Again, I'm going to place that down into the carton, and now I need to close the lid and hold it down because I'll feel that start to push against the lid, which will spread the foam out around the corners. Okay, that's stopped now. Open it up. Okay, and it forms a nice wee cushioning protection there for that vase. We'll then seal the carton up as we normally would do, mark it as top stone, and that is the best protection on the market currently for breakable items.